I've made a handful of EasyCAD files over the past two months that have somewhat elaborate pen setups. This is one of them. This is a power versus speed grid, and they can be helpful if you have a new material that you haven't marked before with your laser, and you want to get a sense of what settings will work and what effect they'll have on your material. So for each one of these boxes, we have a different pen setup, and it can be super tedious to go through this and set them up on your own, and I guess there's no reason to duplicate efforts. So since I already have these made, I'm just going to put these up on a Dropbox link and share these in the description to this YouTube video. So feel free to go down there and download these if you like. I know one or two people have expressed interest in these, and that's why I'm sharing them. So this will be the first file. This is just the power versus speed grid. And then let's see. And this will be the second file. This is power versus frequency. And I don't even remember if I marked this one in a video. I may have, I may not have, but here it is. If you want to use it, go ahead. This will be the third file that's in the uh, links in the description. And this is frequency versus hatch. So I used this on a stain piece of stainless to get a sense of what colors would show up. And credit for this mostly goes to a guy from Wisely Laser. And this came from a Facebook group. And he had this set up for a MOPA laser and it produced a bunch of colors. I kind of changed it around a little bit and modified the uh, Y axis so it would have frequencies that would make sense for a non-MOPA, regular fixed pulse width laser. So feel free to use this one as well, and I think all the power and spe speed settings are fixed on this one, so you can modify it as you please. And I think I did make a video on this, so if you want to look at that, you can see what results I got. This file is not very difficult to make. These are just the setup squares that I used for my uh, distortion video, and it's just a bunch of squares, different sizes. I made it in Adobe Illustrator, but I'm going to put it up in PDF format. Anybody who has Illustrator can probably make this in about five minutes, but just in case you don't, PDF might be more convenient for some people. So feel free to use that if you want to play with distortion. And the last file I'll share is this EasyCAD version 2.8 user's manual. It's 154 pages of a bunch of EasyCAD settings and explaining out how to use EasyCAD software. This is probably available elsewhere, but just in case you happen to be looking for a copy of it, here it is in PDF format. So if any of these files happen to be useful, feel free to download, modify, share them, do whatever you want with them.